Welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. You can join us each morning as well with the Our Daily Bread devotional. These free, uplifting reflections will draw you closer to the heart of your Lord every day. Visit ourdailybread.org forward slash meditation to find out more and subscribe. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Now, close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. His hand is upon your life. He wants to speak to you, to bless you, and to conform you into His image. Open your heart tonight as you come to spend this time with Him. Heavenly Father, there are times when I wonder what on earth you are doing. Why you are allowing things in my life that feel so wrong. Why do you allow such dark days? Why so many painful situations? But I know you are good and you are faithful. I know that you are always working, even in the darkness. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 20 says, But as for you, the Lord took you and brought you out of the iron-smelting furnace, out of Egypt, to be the people of his inheritance, as you now are. God's people spent 400 years living in Egypt. For most of that time, they were enslaved and cruelly abused. They longed for rescue. God describes those hard years like an iron-smelting furnace. Smelting uses incredibly high heat to turn lumps of ore into a tough and useful metal. If iron could feel that process, it certainly wouldn't enjoy it. Sometimes God allows seasons in our lives when the heat is turned up higher than we thought possible. He isn't being cruel. He hasn't forgotten about us. He is separating the worthless from the precious in our lives. He is making us into something beautiful, useful and tough. If the heat is on in your life tonight, don't despair. Israel could never have become a strong people 
if they had been spared their years in the furnace. God is at work in you, and he will produce something good. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. and out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, my instinct is always to beg you to turn down the heat during painful seasons, but I know you are working for good. Help me as I navigate the confusion and disappointment of the furnace. Make me into something special for your glory. Thank you, Lord, for the encouragement of your word. You rescued your people and made them your own inheritance. Whenever I complain about the heat, remind me of that amazing truth. Isaiah chapter 48 verses 10 to 11 say, See, I have refined you, though not as silver, I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I do this. How can I let myself be defamed? I will not yield my glory to another. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, I have only an inkling of what it might mean to be part of the people of your inheritance. But it is a mind-blowing, immense truth that you would want me for yourself. Thank you for loving and rescuing me. Amen.